Many times you guys must have wondered that if there is any easy way to set any song as your ringtone on your iPhone. And there is a way, but the only thing is you was never aware of that. And in this video I'm gonna tell you exactly that. So welcome to TechPub and without wasting any further time let's get into it. So first of all you have to have three applications installed in your iPhone. I'm sure two of them will already be there. One of them is GarageBand and second one is Files. And third application that you need to download is called Bolt. So this is the application where you have to search the song that you want and download it. I'll put the link to download these files in the description box below. Just go ahead and check it out. So first of all you have to open the Bolt application and search for SoundCloud. So let me go ahead and do that. So you will find the first link as SoundCloud, just click on it. And here tap search button and search for any song that you would like to use as a ringtone. So for this tutorial let me search. I'll just click on this song and as soon as you click on this song you will get a pop-up where you will see the download link available. All you have to do is just click on download link and your song will start downloading in the downloadings section. So your song should be completed downloading. Just long press on the song and tap on open in. So once you see this option, just select save to files. So here you have to save the song on your iPhone only. So you have to click on on my iPhone and here you have to save the song in any of the folder which is available under your iPhone. So for this tutorial I will select GarageBand for iOS and save. So that's all. Now you can close this application. Next step is open the GarageBand application and here search for audio recorder. So there you go. This is the audio recorder. Just tap on it. Now here you have to click on this third icon. It's kind of tiles icon. It's third from the left. and click on plus icon and click on section A and here change the manual level to 30. It means that the ringtone that you will create will be of 30 seconds because iPhone only allow ringtone of 30 seconds. That's it. So once you are done with that just click on done. Now click on the circular rope kind of icon, it's second from the right, just click on this and click on cancel here. Now you have to click on this link here called browse items from the files icon, just click on it. Now here you have to select the song that you have just downloaded, I have this first song. Now just click on this once and your song should be listed under the files. That's it. Now our song is available here. Now click and hold this song. And just drag and drop it in the timeline. Now you have to click on this triangular icon. Just click on it once. And now you can adjust the song the way you like. You can set the starting point of your ringtone. You can just do it by just dragging it. So once you're done with that, make sure that you drag it to the starting point of this timeline and once you're done, click on this first down arrow icon and select my songs. Now your ringtone is created and it is ready to be used. Now click and hold this song and select share. So here you have to select share and here you have to select ringtone. Now it will ask you to adjust the length of the ringtone but you can just click on continue. And here you can change the name of the ringtone, whatever you like. I'll put it as demo or ringtone and click on export. Now it will start exporting your ringtone. That's it. Your ringtone is created. You can just click OK and close the GarageBand application. Now head over to settings and go into sounds and haptics ringtones and you will see your ringtone is available here let me just click on it 
so our ringtone is created and use this tone as the ringtone of your iphone so it was pretty simple process pretty straightforward i'm sure you guys will definitely like this trick if you do do hit like button share this video with your friends and do subscribe to this channel so thank you very much see you in the next bye bye